in this video I'm going to show you how to make a hairstyle worn by Sansa Stark in season 7 Game of Thrones episode 3 onward. This hairstyle is one of the most beautiful in my opinion and it is also very powerful with the rose resembling a northern crown. After you brush the hair really well, divide it vertical into two equal halves. Put one of the sections away in a temporary ponytail. On the other section of hair, um, take a triangular section at the top of the head. Uh, you create the section following a northern division line following the arch of the eyebrow with its other side uh, adjacent to the center part and, ta and taking two thirds of it. So it is one third away from the top of the head. Put the lower section of hair away in the temporary ponytail and from the top triangular section uh, make a French lace rope plaid. To make a French lace rope plaid, take a small section of hair, divide it into two equal strands and start plaiting a rope plaid. And as you continue plaiting, add uh, sm thin uh, strands of hair to one side only and we'll be adding it from the side that's adjacent to the center part division line i.e. from the inner side of the head and as you've run out of the pieces of hair to add continue plaiting a normal rope plaid there are lots of tutorials on how to make french lace rope plaid and i will make one separately myself so if you need to stop now, stop and uh, investigate how to do that. Uh, after you've finished making a French lace rope plaid, secure it with elastic at the end. Uh, and the, your hair on the other side uh, make the same triangular section. So we making it by creating a division line following the arch of the eyebrow and we make sure that the section is ends two thirds down of the center part, so it is one third up from the top of the head. And now start making your second French lace rope plaid. And you do before that, please make sure that your sections are absolutely identical and mirror reflections of one another. So uh, again, to make a French lace rope plaid, take a small piece of hair, ask your child not to make faces and start plaiting a rope plaid and then continue adding thin strands of hair from one side only. And in this particular case, it's adding strands from the center part, uh, i.e. from the inner side of the head. After you've run out of the hair to add, continue plaiting a normal rope plaid. It's very interesting, you know, in this Rose of Winterfell look we'll be doing, um, Rose is very important in the North, and we've already seen the Rose worn as symbol of power and authority. For example, Lady Talisa wore it at the Red Wedding um, as a uh, different hairstyle, but with the Rose at the center, symbolizing her position as the queen in the north. So now you have two French lace rope plaids. Uh, we'll be making further division. Um, release one of your ponytails and make a division line following, starting from the top of the head, going down to the middle of your ear. And uh, put a lower section of hair away in the temporary ponytail. Do the same on the other side. Now, with our newly created section of hair, uh, pull it upward and pull it in the direction opposite to the opposite side of the head. So, pull it towards the other ear. So, above your head and toward the other ear. And as you do that, um, make a rope plaid. So, uh, plaited above the head towards the other side of the ear. After you've made your rope plaid, twirl it into a spiral, thus creating the middle part of our Winterfell rose. 
And as you've done that, secure it with open end pins or bobby pins. Now make sure it stays in the center. It is important to plait in the right direction in order to avoid bumps. So take the section of hair on the opposite side and again make a rope plait and plait it in the direction above the head and towards the opposite ear. And uh, after you've made your rope plait, twirl it round the already existing rows, thus creating more petals. And after you've spiraled it round the other rows, uh, secure it with bobby pins or open-ended pins as necessary. Then take uh, one of the French lace rope plaids and twirl it round the already existing rows and you'll start doing it by you'll start wrapping from uh, taking your braid round the uh, lower side of your rows and then twirling it round the upper side of the rows and it just uh, creates that uh, puzzle of these French lace rope plaid disappearing into we don't understand where really it's not very obvious and do the same on the other side take your French lace rope plaid and wrap it around the existing rows and you started by taking it first around the lower side of the rows and then uh, going around the upper side of the rows Thus, we have even more petals. Then release one of your temporary ponytails and take a small section of hair right behind the ear. The other section of hair put away in the temporary ponytail. Now, with this newly created section of hair, uh, you take it upward and you plait it into another rope plait. And as you plait, you wrap it round our rows and this time you wrap it around the upper side of the rows and you do it as you plait and you'll see why in a moment and as you've taken the hair and you plait around the upper side as soon as the hair starts going downward you stop plaiting and you secure uh, and you secure your uh, braid with the uh, open-ended pins or bobby pins and you let the rest of the hair hang loose attached to this rose. Now with the second temporary ponytail do the same. Take a section of hair behind the ear, pull it upward and start plaiting a rope plaid as well as taking that rope plaid around the, the rows and we're taking it around the upper side of this rows and as soon as it goes round and changes direction to downward we uh, secure it uh, attach it to the rows with bobby pins and use as many bobby pins as you need and then you should have the beautiful rows with two strands of hair hanging on each side of it. Take these two strands of hair, bring them together right under this rose and put them together into a ponytail which you will secure with a thin elastic. This is the uh, rose with lovely leaves ready and after you've done that release the temporary ponytails brush the loose hair 
and this is your Rosa Winterfell hairstyle ready, which I think is one of the most beautiful ones 